Hello, my friend, and welcome back to Where Wendy Creates. Today, we are just going to take a couple of moments and go over one of my machines. Um, I sometimes use this one for my fancier pieces that I don't uh, have to pull and torque like my fabric bowls and my multiple layers that I like to use. Um, so this is my Husqvarna Viking, and I purchased this, I want to say about 12 or 13 years ago. It has uh, many, many different stitches to where I'm just doing a couple of layers or a, uh, a quilt without too much bulk. I can uh, get fancy and frou-frou. I will show you some of my appliques and my fish that I've used some of these patterns on in a, uh, another upcoming, probably a short. Um, but how we use this one is on the Husqvarna Viking. This is the Platinum Edition, 755 Royal Edition. Again, it is about 12 or 13 years old now. And I want to say I paid about $1,100 for it. I have not looked up to see how much they cost. They've got a nice handy dandy uh, ruler down here, both in uh, metrics as well as in inches. So we have um, a quick tool here. We have all the different fe uh, features here, all the different stitches. We have the different uh, ways that we can use them, up needle, down needle, the different speeds. Uh, one thing I do not have on the machine that I always use is a speed control. Here we can go turtle, we can do all different um, uh, lengths of time and again I've just gotten this one out I was uh, doing a quilt or two or three or ten on it um, so I need to uh, clean it haven't cleaned it and we're gonna go ahead and uh, clean it today uh, I do have my uh, tensions um, here it has a uh, nice handle feature to it it is a very heavy machine I didn't weigh it but we've got the uh, plugs over here the on off switch and we have two different plugs. So we're gonna go ahead and plug both of these in. Uh, this one, as you can see, does have a uh, quite a different feature for plug-ins than my other sewing machine, and they are two different pieces. One for the foot, which this is, and one for the electricity, which this is. And we're gonna go ahead and plug those in. They have their individual uh, slots that they go into. So just grab a hold of them and stick them uh, in their appropriate holes. And a little wiggle job gets it right in there. And one great feature about uh, this is that it does have the storage on the back hand. We can take the whole body off so we can go around it for making the fabric bowls. But again, I like to do the fabric bowls on my other tools. Um, on the back here, you'll see that I do have a very nice uh, large container that I can have all my bobbin and all my different feet in for my different uh, stitches and usage. And then I do have my various tools. I put a pipe cleaner in a uh, coffee straw and I use that to get rinse out a lot of times. So we will go ahead and I'll pop my bobbins out. So let me put those back in. And I usually wind my bobbins with each project and that's why all of these are not preloaded because I'm always using different Good morning. colors. The Husqvarna Viking is very, very easy to use. It is made in Sweden. This is the foot lift. So when you reach your hand around the back, you're not gonna miss it. Very easy, very large, very uh, useful. You do have a thread cutter right here, so you don't have to have the scissors handy. But tips and tricks, I always wanna share with you. If you get these, Vel uh, if you get these uh, hook and loop dots, you can, use these to glue one onto your favorite pair of scissors and put them down um, here so you never lose your scissors. You always have those handy. So that is a uh, nice tips and trick. I usually have a pair of scissors connected to that. We do have the large uh, uh, pedal wheel that we can make the foot go up and down here. Very easy to use. And we'll come back around here to the foot and and again, we said the foot is large. This is about uh, one and a piece, the size 
of a uh, normal sewing machine foot. This is made in Sweden. I'm not sure what the appeal for having it so large, but this one does have the nice rubber feet on it. Um, so it's not gonna move around on your, your floors, whether they're carpet or um, linoleum or wood or anything else that you're working on. So that's a great handy feature. This cord can go right into the hole so it's not uh, bulky onto that. And the whole foot pedal does press. So no matter where you press on it, you're gonna get the same even stitching on your fabric. So let's put that down on the floor, plug it in, and just take another peek. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and put uh, one of the uh, table um, placemats that I'm working on under the foot so you can go ahead and hear it running. And we're going to do some upcoming tutorials using the sewing machine where we're gonna go into these buttons. We're not gonna go into the buttons today. Okay, so whether you're using your on to sew, or sewing barefoot or with socks, whatever your preference is, one thing great about the Husqvarna Viking is that it is so quiet. Husqvarna Viking is very, very quiet when you're using this machine. It's easy to be in control of your project and it's very, very quiet. And fast. So if you have an old machine or you don't have a Husqvarna Viking and you're looking for a very, very smooth, versatile, fully functional, strong machine, Husqvarna Viking Platinum 755 Royal Edition. Again, this machine is 12 to 13 years old. It purrs like a kitten. It's easy to maintain. You've got all of your controls. Easy to use. Easy to thread. Easy to wind your bobbins. Easy to use. Fully functional. Highly recommend the Husqvarna Viking. Thanks, my friends. Come on back and let's see our next tutorial coming up very soon.